If your phone connects to the world, thank your SIM card. This tiny piece of technology is the unsung hero of modern communication, enabling everything from simple text messages to high-speed internet browsing. But what exactly is a SIM card, and how does it work its magic? Here's how it all works. Alright, let's dive in. SIM stands for Subscriber Identity Module. It's that little chip that you slide into your phone but there's so much more to it than meets the eye. This small card is your phone's gateway to the mobile network, allowing you to make calls, send texts, and use data services. But how's it made, and what does it actually do? Let's break it down step by step. First up, the manufacturing process. Creating a SIM card is a fascinating journey that starts with raw materials and ends with a powerful piece of technology. A SIM card starts life as a simple plastic sheet. This sheet is the foundation upon which the entire card is built. It's then processed and prepared for the next stages of production. It's cut down to size, ensuring that each SIM card is uniform and fits perfectly into your phone's SIM slot, and layered with a thin film of copper. This copper layer is crucial as it forms the circuits that will store and transmit your data. This copper film is etched with the circuits that will store all your important data. The etching process is highly precise, creating intricate patterns that are essential for the SIM card's functionality. These micro circuits are the heart of the SIM card, enabling it to perform its various functions. Next, the chip is embedded into the plastic frame. This chip is what makes the SIM card smart, allowing it to store and process information. Voila, you have a SIM card. But wait, there's more. The magic really happens when you pop it into your phone. This is where the SIM card truly comes to life. The phone reads the data on the SIM card and connects you to your mobile network, enabling communication and data transfer. That chip inside your SIM card is a marvel of modern engineering. It stores your unique identification number, called an IMSE. This number is what tells the mobile network who you are and what services you're entitled to. Without it, your phone wouldn't be able to connect to the network. Without it, your phone's just a fancy camera. But that's not all. Your SIM card also stores other important information. Your SIM card also stores your contacts, messages, and other small pieces of data. This makes it easy to switch phones without losing your important information. It's like your phone's personal assistant, always ready to help you connect and stay organized. So, the next time you make a call or browse the web, remember the tiny hero inside your phone. It's doing a lot more than you might think. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe for more tech secrets. Hit that like button and leave a comment with any questions you have. See you next time. See you next time.